Welcome to Hobby with Ollie, where we're painting up a boarding patrol of Votan on a tight schedule to get them ready for a battle report. This 500 point Votan boarding patrol consists of an Einir champion, 10 Hearthkin warriors, and 5 Einir hearthguards. The first two squads are built, but the hearthguard are yet to emerge from their crucibles and so require a little construction. The Hearthguard seemed like the perfect unit to include in a boarding patrol detachment. Clad in heavy exo armor and entrusted with the finest weapons available to their kin hosts, their role as bodyguards and mobile tanks will prove invaluable to the Votan efforts in the Arcs of Omen. We've opted to build these with Plasma Blade Gauntlets and Eta Khan Plasma Guns. That's a lot of plasma, and they'll be bringing all that firepower to bear in a game against the Sisters of Battle next week, so make sure you've subscribed and hit the bell icon to be notified when I have new videos going live. As for my comments on this kit, it goes together pretty well, aside from a couple of awkward arm attachments and a couple of awkward shoulder pads. I did realise that I missed off the grenade launchers by mistake, so I will have to paint those up to add later. After this, they, along with all the other models of the boarding patrol, were base coated black before receiving a zenithal prime of white ink from above. While I remain sceptical about how effective this is for most average painters due to the thickness and opacity of our paint, it does help to show the detail on models which can be helpful when painting small features like inlaid patterns. For anyone who saw our Hearthkin Warrior painting guide, you can find it in the top right if you're interested, Meg's Votan army are from the Urani Serta Regulates, which means painting green. Lots of green. Firstly, Skarsnit green for the trousers, and then Caliban green for the armour. While I block in some of the details, let's talk a little bit more about the Urani Serta Regulates, or Ursa as they're known. Gruff even by the standards of their brethren, they inhabit a portion of the galaxy infested with nesting tyranids, and through pride or sheer stubbornness they refuse to give up their homeworlds. This is represented in game by plus one toughness across the whole army, making things like the Hearthguard toughness 6, and they've also got rerolls for morale tests. This makes them all the more likely to fight to the last man. It's really cool to get to read about a brand new faction in the 40k setting, and all the sub-factions that come with them. What's less cool is how I'm feeling after painting for two days straight. So the base coats are well and truly started, the Votan are going to war, but it's time for me to get some sleep because I am knackered. Get in the old clone chamber and back to it tomorrow. After a good night's sleep, I got back to painting. I started off by getting all the Hearthkin warriors to a point where I was going to be ready for shading and highlighting. This included doing touch-ups, particularly on the Skarsnik green, to make sure that I didn't have any splodges of other paint from painting the other areas. The Hearthkin are pretty simple in terms of their war gear, which I was thankful for as I had a lot of them to paint, but in order to get some cool techniques captured on camera, I decided to put a bit more time into the Hessier of the Hearthguard. For whatever reason, the sergeants in these different Votan squads have different names, but helpfully the Hessier here has a lovely crest, which helps identify him easily on the battlefield. Very considerate to make him easy for my snipers to spot. I painted Retributor armour onto this crest, as well as any gold areas, including a load of inlaid gold detail, the sort of runic markings around the armour. I tried to catch these with the edge of my brush where possible, but I tidied up any mistakes with Caliban green where needed. On to the fun parts, the weapons. The Plasma Blade Gauntlet was coated in a layer of Wraithbone to act as a solid undercoat for the bright colours on top. The colours I'm going for are going to match what we see on the Codex cover for the Leagues of Votan, this sort of fiery magma blade which goes from orange up to yellow. I started these with fluorescent orange, which I applied to the bottom of the blade where it meets the gauntlet, dragging the paint up towards the tip. While this layer was still wet, I applied a layer of Vallejo medium yellow, which I dragged towards the top of the blade. I added another layer of this closer to the tip, before doing the same wet blending technique with Uriel yellow for the very tip of the blade. I finished this by using Wraithbone to edge highlight the blade. A quick tidy up with some Vallejo gunmetal onto the actual gauntlet itself, and I'm really really pleased with how this effect turned out. On to the plasma gun in his other hand, and I opted for a blue plasma glow on this side, starting from Vallejo blue. This was highlighted up with Temple Guard blue, which I tried to wash into the recesses, so that it looks like it's glowing from the inside out. 
I used the same blue to give an edge highlight to the surrounding areas to really show that the glow is emanating outwards from the center of the plasma gun. I added a bit of white to this lighter blue for a final highlight and this is what we ended up with. I really love this kind of fire and ice duality going on between his two different weapons. But I can't rest on my laurels, it's time to do some highlights, this time with a bit of added yellow into that Caliban green. With the Hesir done, there's only the rest of the models in the boarding patrol to go, so I decided to take the models in front of the TV and finish them off there. If in doubt, a bit of a change of scene can really help to crack on with projects, so I'd highly recommend this, though again my back does not thank me for doing so much painting on the sofa. The last details I had to finish up were some scrag brown for the Rhinox hide details as a highlight, and then I also painted any bare heads using a quick and dirty method, base coat them with Bugman's Glow, wash over with Reichland Flesh Shade, and then highlight up with a mix of Bugman's Glow and Wraithbone. With that in under a week, I've managed to get our boarding patrol of Votan all ready for a fight against the Sisters of Battle encroaching on their territory. What was your favourite part of my paint job today? Are you going to be taking any lessons from it? Um, how have you been painting up your Leagues of Votan? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you all so much for your continued watching of the channel. It really means a lot for people to be checking out my videos. And until the next one, my name has been Ollie, this has been my hobby, and I'll see you next time.